The Borax, I Speak for the Pigs. In deep southern Virginia, near a pig farm or two, and the wind often smells like manure from trucks carrying poo, and the squeals of the inmates might be ignored by you, lives a company called Smithfield. Well, you might say it was that, but I fear it was more like a hell where pigs grow nice and fat after they've been genetically modified to weigh too much to bear, and the pig's little legs can't carry them here or there. Their pigs are mistreated, no one dare really doubt. Many live in dark sheds not ever let out. But this is what Old Smithy, as we'll call it for short, this is what Smithy does like it's a sport. They take these poor pigs, often kicked, hit, and more. They take all these pigs to prepare for a store. But not sweet, intelligent pigs to sell as a pet, who would love you and snuggle you, this you can bet. These pigs have a fate much worse left in store. They are loaded on trucks for five hours or more. They are jostled and shaken and cramped and made sore. But in the summer, the heat makes them suffer so much more, boiling in the sun like being roasted alive. And in the winter, these pigs get to freeze on all sides. In the open air truck that will carry them down to the place of great sadness, yes, Smithfield's the town. They must watch as each pig is forced to his doom. These intelligent creatures try to escape from the room. They crawl over each other. They squeal and try to climb gates. But Smithy just smiles until the struggle abates. And if it does not, then a shock prod's brought in. While others might worry, Smithy knows that he'll win. So each little pig gets to watch his friends die. And these intelligent creatures must ask themselves, why? Why don't they care? And they are thinking of you, the people who buy ham and pork, and yes, bacon too. Why do you pay money to someone who would do things like that? Yeah, we'd hate anyone who did this to dog, horse, or cat. But there is no real difference. It's all just a lie. We've been sold the same story in the hopes we would buy. Yet, now knowing Smithy's pigs suffer, as we certainly do, how can we change knowing each word here is true? We must speak for the pigs, like I, the Borax, have done. Because if we turn off our heart, then old Smithfield has won. So I, the borax, will ask with my old saddened stare, Is it you? Are you brave? Will you be one to care? <laughs>